Well, good morning from morning. What, what is, we think, day six. We're losing track of time terribly yeah, here we are. <laughs> on our Rally Discovery Too Far East experience. Um, fascinating Far East experience. So we had a day in Patong Bay yesterday, mm. and it was an oh, what an amazing day we had yesterday. It was a day full of adventure, adventure. incident, <laughs> uh, and yeah. it's, it's exactly what you come on a cruise holiday for. It was, was absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yesterday. amazing day yesterday and we're just full of stories aren't we so yeah, let's so get on with it let's crack on <laughs> um so it was a tender port and we got in brighton early and we knew we, we had an excursion plan to do the pp islands by speedboat and uh it was a really early start uh because yeah. we had to get our tender ashore and the tender process generally worked really well didn't worked we? yeah, yeah. Met, so, well as soon as we got, got to the um because we had to meet in the um show yeah. lounge didn't in we the show lounge nice and early yeah. it was like half past seven in the morning but so as soon really as we got early. there they were going weren't yeah, they yeah. yeah i mean lots of people were doing trips and excursions yeah. and stuff a lot of them Very were busy. off the ship early you know i mean we were in the show lounge for half past seven um, yeah. And then it was tender ashore, and that worked really well, didn't it? It was, yeah. When you yeah. got to the uh, the shore itself, there was a short walk to the bus station, past all the vendors and the sellers. And... Yeah, they, they left us alone though because they saw that we were on an excursion. So but what you did see was how beautiful Patong Bay is, and there's an amazing stretch of golden sands oh, there, lovely, you know. And it? if you weren't doing an excursion, you could have spent a day on the beach, or there's bars, or cafes mm. and shops, and. I mean, th there's a lot there. Uh, we actually later found out on our way back that it actually comes alive at night time. It does. Definitely, doesn't it? It certainly <laughs> does. But uh, so we got on the coach, and every two excursion always has a coach trip, but it was quite an eventful coach trip as well because of the <laughs> traffic. The traffic is nuts. Um, it's due, mainly due to the amount of scooters. Everyone's on scooters, aren't they? They've got families, like little children of four on scooters. And... So it was a 40 minute coach trip to the other side of uh, Phuket Island. Um, and it will say there was, there was quite uh, a slow but um, interesting journey. In fact, one of the scooters actually got clipped by our bus yeah. as we were driving along. He it wasn't had a load the driver's of palm fault. Leaves, yeah. though, didn't he? He had loads of palm yeah. leaves sticking out of his um, scooter. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't no. our driver's fault at no. all. I mean, I mean, they literally drive like crazy people. Yeah. Um, and ride like crazy people. <laughs> you know, no CBCs here, obviously. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, so there was a little bit of incident there when we got to the uh, the port on the other side of the island where we were catching the speedboat. That was fairly and again a little bit chaotic with a lot, a lot of bus parking there but you know yeah. before long we were able to just bathroom and then get aboard our boats and everything was going great yeah we got to sit at the front to start off with didn't we to start with mm. yeah so you board the speed boat there's about 25 30 people on the boat yeah um and you head off down the river and then out into the andaman sea and it's just wow it's great it's amazing wind it? in your hair yeah. and you're racing across the andaman sea yeah. Except we started to race and then we didn't race and then we started to race again and then we didn't race. And he was on the, on his phone, wasn't he? Yeah. The driver. Uh, the, yeah. yeah. Thinking, so the Ooh. captain of the speedboat was uh, obviously struggling with the boat. And actually, when we were partway across the Andaman Sea, the outboard motors completely failed and we were just left just bobbing at <laughs> out there. And there was a lot of fuss about when he could get them started. He got them started once and then they died again. Yeah. And um, it was very clear clear then um, that you know we were kind of like stuck out in the middle of the Andaman Sea luckily we were they quite close to get a new one didn't they yeah well we were quite close mm. to a, a, an, an island a private island out in the sea called Rai Yang I think Rai Yang Island um, <laughs> it is actually your typical desert island it's a desert island yeah. out, out in the Andaman Sea yeah. and he was able to use the the onboard engine with sort of maneuvering sort of thruster engines to nudge us towards the shore um, uh, of this island and there were loads of jellyfish everywhere yeah. <laughs> but we're definitely not going to swim for that well apparently these jellyfish we were told are actually a delicacy and they use that for jellyfish um, soup yeah. and they ferment the jellyfish for six months before they make the jellyfish soup so very interesting and they, they're not poisonous apparently our ones. guide was fantastic yeah. we we're trying to keep everybody calm her name was um pot wasn't, pot, it? wasn't yeah. it yeah she Lovely. was great and then she you know she was keeping everybody calm and trying mm. to keep us all sort of like abreast of, of, of what was going on and what the, the contingency plan was because this obviously does happen yeah. very occasionally not often but obviously very yeah. occasionally 
But she uh, was cool as a cucumber, wasn't she? Absolutely, yeah, yeah absolutely ice cold. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so they got us towards this island, they were nice to shore, and then it was a last sort of scramble onto the beach, uh, and then we were able to spend some time on the beach of this sort of remote desert island uh, for about an hour we were there. Yeah, we? probably about an hour, yeah. They, they looked after us, they kept, went round with fruit, and yeah, yeah. they were... Yeah, they were good. They really were good. good. There was bottles of drink and cans of coke yeah. and stuff as well. Whole um, way through the whole day, weren't they? And it, you know, we literally just dumped on this island. The mm. boat was broken down, and then we were just waiting to be rescued. And, <laughs> and we, we were rescued Before about too long. And then it came, didn't <laughs> yeah. it? <laughs> and, and another boat turned up, and it was back aboard. And then we resumed yeah. our excursion out to the PP Islands, um, which was. Uh, well, it takes about an hour to get across to the PP Islands anyway. Yes, it um, does. It's, it's quite long, a way. long, isn't it? And but, but on the new boat, we didn't get to go out on the front. We went, um, people went in there and took up the space. Um, but actually, we were quite lucky, really, because I think we would have been burnt to a crisp if we were out that front bit. The sun we? is fierce. Yeah, absolutely it is. fierce. So anyway, we got to the PP Islands, and uh, when we arrived there, the first uh, they basically took us to was the uh, island where Leonardo DiCaprio filmed the beach, beach movie, yeah. uh, well, which is a man with a golden gun or something. Yeah, it's an Instagram hot spot, and um, we could go into the bay there. We didn't go ashore because it's a, just a tourist absolute hot spot. Oh. The number of boats that are there and loads and you can see the queues going queuing, past. yeah queuing to get in i mean we, he brought us into an entrance where you could see the beauty of the bay yeah but basically our guys said look you know, we lost a bit of time um and it, you would spend ages just queuing yeah to get onto that beach just for your one photo and then you'd have to get off again in any case yeah um so they got as close as they could, didn't yeah. they, for us to take photos. Yeah. And they took us to a, so, a so few the, places, didn't well, they? They took us around to the lagoon as yeah. well, um, which was absolutely incredible. Again, oh, it's very, all very the busy. Rocks and, yeah. yeah, all very busy around that area. We saw the Viking cave where the bird's yeah. nest soup, the bird's nest for the bird's nest soups made. Yeah. Um, and, and again, you know, just the natural beauty of those islands is just incredible i mean what you see in the brochures is actually it's it, actually isn't it? yeah it. absolutely I just can't describe jaw dropping isn't it it's how beautiful it is the big difference of course with the brochures and what you see in real life is that there's always one boat in the brochure whereas in real life there's swarms <laughs> of boats <laughs> everywhere yeah. um, but then we found a nice little spot to do some snorkeling. Yeah, well, this is it. They sort of said that we've, we've sort of come to do a bit of snorkeling and beach stuff. So they've taken us to a place where it isn't as busy. Yeah. And it wasn't, was it? So they took us to a quieter spot. Yeah. And we were able to do some snorkeling. We had about 45 minutes snorkeling. Well, it was, was a bit longer than 45 minutes because of there. this one. Yeah. <laughs> who uh, didn't heed the return to the boat, who completely lost I've, time. I've actually, it's absolutely amazing. I used to work, years ago, I used to work in an aquatic centre and I lo I've got tropical fish at home. You know, I, lo I love um, fish and stuff. So I was absolutely in my element looking at all these different fish that, you know, you would see in an aquarium, basically. And um, I just forgot the time. I didn't realise what the time was until so, I got a tap on my shoulder and this lovely gentleman saying, can you return to the uh, to the boat, please, ma'am? <laughs> so on the boat, of course, I managed to get back on the boat in time. And uh, they were doing the head count. We were ready to move on to the next area. And I'm going, no, wait, wait, my wife's not back. And I'm going, wait, wait. So, and uh, everybody was there on the boat shouting out her name to come on come back come back but she didn't hear anything <laughs> so one of the boat crew in the end had to chuck himself into the water <laughs> and, and swim out shoulder. and go and retrieve her so uh, a well deserved round of applause when she got back but um so that was a lovely bit of snorkeling and then we're back on board and then we went for a spot of lunch didn't we yeah and we went to the pp natural resort yeah uh, which is obviously a holiday resort on these Gorgeous. islands uh, with a hotel complex there and the most magnificent beach. I mean, yeah. just incredible beach. Absolutely lovely. Um, and and they, a lovely spread as well, Thai, they, of Thai food. They stuck on mm. an incredible uh, spread of food with you know, catered for all sorts of tastes. Yeah. Uh, we got to try some of the local beer, and yeah. uh, which was, was great. And, that was nice, wasn't it? And we had about an hour on on this beach, just... An hour, yeah. Just chilling and yeah. enjoying ourselves. Around. and 
in a swimming pad men, all that kind of stuff. It was great. It was back aboard the boat, wasn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, even despite the fact that we were running behind and we were stranded and we, we were conscious of the fact we had to be back to the ship for the last tender back. Well, it was supposed to be half past four, It was supposed it? to be half past yeah. four. They carried it on and they ran the excursion as the original plan and they went across yeah. to Bamboo Island and then gave us another hour snorkeling, snorkeling on Bamboo Island as well. That was beautiful too. That was a bit more busier though. That, that one, was a busier it? beach, but it has a coral yeah. reef off of it and so it's just full of snorkeling. people snorkeling. Uh, but I stayed with this one, didn't I, this time, so that I didn't um, <laughs> make them wait for me. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so that was, well, well they were just incredible. Uh, yeah you know, beaches to go yeah. and snorkel and swim on. The water's lovely and warm and turquoise oh, blue and the absolutely displays gorgeous. of fish that are available to only curious. Really and Really desert, desert island, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fish were, they were, they oh, were yeah, they really were coming up to you. Coming up and, to you and, yeah, trying to get their photos taken, Yeah, they? <laughs> obviously they've, uh, they've all got the Instagram accounts or something like that, but, um, you know, yeah. just, just an, brilliant day but uh, pot's been really good because she had actually as soon as she knew this had happened she'd phoned back to the ship yeah. and basically told the ship that we were going to be late so th they said don't worry take your time which was nice wasn't yeah. it and yeah. we didn't feel rushed or no. anything and so we didn't miss out at all absolutely incredible then we were yeah. back on board the speedboat and then we sped back across the andaman sea back to phuket and uh, and then we had to get back on the bus yeah, um, and the, the bus basically um, took us closer this time, didn't they? So we didn't have to have the walk from the bus park, did yeah, we? Yeah, again, time? it was another 40 minute, yeah. 45 minutes. It was long, actually longer, actually, because the traffic at night oh. got worse. Yeah. And then, like I said, it gets really busy. The Tong Bay itself time, comes yeah. to life at mm. night. And we were supposed to be back on at the last tender at half past four. And at half past six, we were still <laughs> driving into Patong Bay. Yeah. The ship was still out at sea, yeah. uh, waiting for us. And that's the thing, we booked a two-e excursion. Yeah, top tip. Top tip. But this is why you book a cruise ship excursion, because <laughs> the ship waits for you if you don't yeah. get back in time. If we'd done this on our, our own steam and that, we would have missed the yeah, ship, we, wouldn't we? We would have missed the ship yeah. and been ringing our insurers. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is exactly yeah. why you pay the little bit extra and you you know you yeah. do a cruise ship excursion and the day it was an amazing day wasn't it Absolutely. everyone everyone on that that boat really had a great time didn't they and when we got back yeah. to the uh, the jetty uh, you know the the cruise ship crew were waiting for us you yeah. know we were 2 hours late <laughs> All with smiles, welcome back, don't worry, we're yeah. waiting for you back aboard. And they, you know, we were treated fantastically yeah. when we got back to the... And apparently um, the captain had done a shout out on board and was telling everybody, yeah, weren't they? Exactly. Wasn't he? <laughs> but, you know, yeah. what, a, I mean, what a contrast, you know, we had a disappointing mm -hmm. excursion to Orangutan Island. Um, and then we had one of the most amazing days on a cruise we've had ever. Yeah. Yesterday, full of adventure, but beautiful yeah. beaches, lovely swimming and snorkeling. Yeah, and, absolutely uh, lovely. And what an incredible place the yeah. PP Islands are. Highly, highly recommended. Yeah. So, so far on this beautiful. cruise, we've done two excursions and we've been yeah. late back to the ship twice. twice. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> What's going to happen today? <laughs> so, we're in Langkawi today and uh, we've got another we've got excursion to plan. So, hopefully, that goes off without <laughs> incident. Hopefully, uh, we're not late. <laughs> not late today, but. It's been a brilliant trip so far. Yeah, so looking forward to what the rest of the trip holds. Yeah. All right, well, we'll give you yeah. another update tomorrow. Yeah. Cheers now. Bye. Bye. If you like what we do and you want to see some more of our fabulous adventures, please like and subscribe. Cheers.